Hello everyone. Welcome again to another episode of NG Super Kitchen. Today I am making something very simple, easy and low budget. It is fish stew. I'm making deal with the fish that I have at home. First and foremost, I started by washing my fish. And here you can see I'm adding all the ingredients and uh, you can get a list of the ingredients in the description box. I will marinate this for half an hour in the fridge, after which I will use it in the stew later. Another step I have to do after marinating the fish and refrigerating is I am going to combine in a food processor, I'm using the fresh tomatoes, red bell pepper, scotch bonnet, and tomato puree. I will blend that together and set aside. After doing that, what I'm going to do next is in a saucepan, I'm going to heat oil in, in a high heat while I will chop my onion when the while the oil is eating up. After which I will saute my onion to fry until it becomes aromatic and translucent. Then I will be adding my the blended and combination of the tomatoes and and the red bell red bell pepper and so on. I'll stir that in and allow cover up and allow to cook for about 10 minutes after 10 minutes i'll take off the lid stir it and add the remaining um, ingredients the turmeric the salt paprika and then cover it up again to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes when that is cooking while that is cooking you can start boiling your rice you know and because it's cooking almost halfway now and after 10 to 15 minutes i will add in now the vegetable and cube you can use any onion of your of your choice but i prefer here to use the vegetable one after which I allow it also cover it up to simmer for about five minutes and then I had the marinated fish. You can see how colorful the fish is because I've added all those ingredients to give it a very nice taste and also the green things you see around it is paisley. So once I put had in the fish, I'm going to cover it up to cook for about another eight to ten, eight minutes the reason is that i like my fish to cook and be flaky inside but avoiding the fish not to break the beauty of the steel is to see your fish especially the fish head when the steel is ready so we cover that to cook on a medium low heat this time to avoid the bottom of the steel from burning so once the stew is cooked and ready oh my god this stew is so aromatic and it is delicious so it's simple easy but at the same time very tasty so now the stew is ready turn off your eater and the cooker sorry and serve i have dished out here the rice and i'm going to serve the stew by the side and here it is that is the fish head the fish that i used here is the croaker fish what is fish without the head you tell me for the fish lovers i know we want to eat the fish stew freshly cooked homemade fish stew because we are craving for that head fish head so that is the rice served out with the delicious freshly made fish stew by the side with the giant fish head to go and enjoy. So you can add here your vegetables, steamed vegetables and plantain. But I have served mine with potato mix in herbs. 
so thank you for cooking with me hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so until next time goodbye